tippy toes. I can't believe our day is finally here. Crazy how it all began from the night, sitting in Mikey's living room, looking through his Edison yearbook and spotting a certain girl that caught my eye and my heart ever since. Dallas, today has finally arrived and I must admit, it is the day I have been waiting for since the moment I realized I loved you. I never imagined finding someone that I can truly be myself around. From our worst of times to the best of times, we've always been a part of one another. The story of us hasn't always been easy or so simple, but regardless, I love it for its raw truth. The love we have had for each other, 12 years of growing up but never growing apart, and love has always been unconditional, and our inability to be without one another is one of the many things that I love about us and what makes me know that you are meant for me. I love you with all my heart, Tippy Toes, Love Patter, P.S. We're getting married. I vow to be a faithful, loyal, and supportive wife in all our future endeavors. I love you truly a million, Patter, and love and promise of forever, your future wife, Mrs. Nichols. <laughs> you okay? Oh, no, yeah, you okay. Don't like <laughs> you okay. okay. you look Why so you look, handsome. You look so beautiful. But <laughs> 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 okay, okay, it's okay. I love you. I know you too. Oh. Hi. Stunning. Thank you. How about she feel a little, a little love? Aww. I've already done it for us. You look gorgeous. You look handsome. And I can't. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> Family and friends, we've been invited here today to share in this important moment in the lives of Sarah and Dallas. In the time that they have been together, their love and understanding of each other has grown and matured, and they have now decided to live their lives together as husband and wife and a wonderful combination of, of a 12-year story. 12 years of two people being stubborn sometimes, <laughs> the timing never being right, a lot of trying. They didn't want to be without each other. And so today they have chosen and, and are able to become one as husband and wife. Do you take Sarah to be your wife? to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish from this day forward until death should separate you? I do. And Sarah, do you take Dallas to be your husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish from this day forward until death should separate you? I do. I give you this ring as a symbol. I give you this ring as a symbol. Of my abiding love and devotion. Of my abiding love and devotion. Our Father, we pray now that you would join Sarah and Dallas together with a bond that is unbreakable. We ask that you assist them in guarding this sacred bond at all cost. We ask that you would bless them and keep them. May you walk beside them and before them all the days of their lives. 
We ask these things in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Gloria al Padre, y al Hijo, y al Espíritu Santo, como era en el principio, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. As a minister of the gospel of Christ, I now declare you to be husband and wife. Let me kiss your pipe. And now I'm truly honored to present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Dallas Nichols. You know, what does a dad say? Well, I'll tell you what a dad says. He says he's awful proud of his son, new daughter-in-law. Proud to be part of your family. You know, you can tell a lot by the people that you hang with. And you got a lot of friends, a lot of family. And it's gonna be a good, prosperous, good fortunate and healthy relationship. You know, you've already put in the time. You know, you put in there and you found that you could be compatible. You love each other. You know, there's going to be testing times. There's going to be times when they're going to be happy. There's going to be times that, you know, you don't know if you did the right thing. But there's one thing for certain is you don't have to make quick decisions. You know, you can take a minute, regroup yourself, look at the big picture, which you guys are into. You know that you both are on the same end of the rope. And sometimes it comes down to just as easy as trusting in God, helping others, and believing in each other. I see you like my own family. Thank you for being here tonight, and thank you for this beautiful couple. She's my daughter. <laughs> and I love my new son. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Here's my tomorrow. So that makes you tomorrow too. Sarah, I think we all can agree you're gorgeous. And Dallas is the luckiest person here tonight. I'm sorry. First of all, I would like to say I love you dearly. As your sister, I feel extremely proud to see the incredible man you have chosen to spend the rest of your life with. We could not love Dallas anymore. I have never seen you more excited and happy about where your life is headed. And I know it's all due to you. I feel so honored to be your sister and to have gotten the opportunity to stand next to you today on what I think is the most important chapter of your life. Josh and I and the rest of the family love you both so much and look forward to cheering you on through all the crazy adventures that is marriage both ups and downs. Congrats to you too. I love you. We ask that you would bless Sarah and Dallas and that you would mold them and shape them as you prepare their hearts to be united in marriage and guide them as they begin this new chapter in their story. May their hearts never be anything less than full of love for one another. We ask these things in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.